What was your reaction when you heard the game was sell, uh, sold out? And just tell me what the players' reaction was this morning. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't like it just happened overnight. It was something I think was building. So um, it's a pretty cool deal, though, uh, to hear where it was at a week ago. Really had the feeling that, uh, especially if we won, that uh, it would happen. Uh, just can't say enough about the support we've had this year. Uh, it's been a special season, um, not just because of the wins and, and so forth and, and our team, but just because of the way the Red Waves embraced us. And, and uh, hopefully they, they feel that our team has embraced the Red Wave as well. Isn't it surreal too, just to think that the stadium was literally empty last yeah. year and then now it's going to be yeah. full of fans? We've, uh, we've talked about that a couple different times, especially for home games. I've thrown pictures on Friday night of the stadium empty and just uh, as a reminder to never take it for granted. You know, when we were having great crowds even earlier in the year, that was, uh, that was part of the message. Hey, let's enjoy this. Let's have a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, and uh, now we really get to enjoy it. It's going to be awesome. Just how's the, how's the team's you know, mindset, you know, this whole week of practice being, and especially a couple of days away from this game? Yeah, you know, just, you know, you come down the ramp today, you can just feel the energy, the excitement. That's what it, really what it's been. For sure, the last three weeks, and even uh, even going to Hawaii, um, I think the guys just really um, have got their minds in the right spot, and attacking, attacking the week, um, and just uh, being relentless. Those are some of the key words we've talked about a lot, and it's that mindset when they step on the football field that we're going to get better. Um, that they've just done such an awesome job, and you know it becomes contagious. It really does. And when one guy's body language is really good, another guy's does as well, and all of a sudden your practice is off and rolling, and it just uh, it feeds off each other. And then, you know, just how do you, um, I guess, continue? You know, there's going to be a lot of excitement Saturday, you know, sold out. So team might be a little bit overhyped to come out. So, I mean, do you just talk to them, you know, about just staying within themselves and taking care of business? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of that. But I think it's different than when it was earlier in the season. I'd like to think that way anyway. Uh, we've played in some big moments and big games. And honestly, that's when I think we've played our best. Um, last week wasn't a wasn't a huge crowd, but the, the, the part of the game, as far as it being a big game for us, um, still existed and I think we were super fired up and our execution really really was at a high level last week and um, other big games I think we've, we've found a way to raise our level um, to where we need to be. Boise State's head coach said they play better on the road and their record shows it too, three and one. How do you just kind of combat their energy mm -hmm. that they're going to come out with? Yeah I think there's something you know we, I feel like sometimes we may do that as well you know so I don't I don't want to say that that's not a false thing you go spend time on a trip and in a, in a hotel and your focus is just on the game and you sit there kind of throughout the day with no distractions um, I think there's something to that uh, you know for us um, you know we've played at home we know the routine of what it is on a Friday Saturday that gets us ready um, I try to really let guys have some flexibility to, to get in that routine I trust them a lot and uh, we provide some structure um, as far as how the day goes but uh, you know they, they've done a great job we got a mature team and you know I think we'll be ready I know we've bombarded your whole coaching staff just about, you know, them being at Boise State before too, but, you know, their head coach played in the 01 game um, against you guys as well. Have you ever been kind of a part of this unique situation where it's kind of personal for the coaching staff so yeah. as well? Yeah, there is a, there's more crossover than I think I've ever been a part of. Uh, it's gotten to be more and more, um, you know, more of the connections and ties, but uh, um, they actually have one of our former guys on their staff too. So um, it, it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, it's competitive and, uh, you know, it's a rivalry and all that kind of stuff. And, and I know our staff has had fun with it. And, and uh, in the end, though, it's just another football game that we really got to do the best to prepare and get our team ready to play. And then just, you know, with that, too, you know, uh, this game's kind of the end of a, you know, three, a big three game stretch, you know, to determine, you know, technically mm -hmm. the West of the Mount West uh conference so just you know what do you tell your guys you know going into this game too about how important this game is not just because of the rivalry but you know to get where you guys want to get yeah I think once we got past the first bye week and uh, there was never um, especially with what we had just gone through um, we are not taking anything ever for granted I don't think we ever did um, I mean we got to take care of business this, is, this one's first and foremost and there's reasons uh, going into the next two games where you can say very easily you know that's a team that uh, beat us a year ago and, and so forth uh, from a year, you know, when you look at New Mexico and so forth. So I don't think that that's even our mindset at all. It's like one more. We got three more, and this is the one that matters the most right now. Is there any other update on, you know, Crawford Rivers? I mean, we keep asking you about that every day. Yeah, so. I mean, they practiced today, <laughs> okay. you know, so they practiced all, all day today. 
Um, really, I don't see too many issues with them. Um, they keep getting stronger and, and um, you know, hopefully be 100% by Saturday. Oh.